Hey guys, okay, in this video I decided uh, I actually have a day off work, now I have to make tea for tonight. So I thought what I'd do is a bit of a cooking video. What I'm going to make here is uh, spaghetti sauce. Now this is the way I make my spaghetti sauce, I'll show you what I put in it and how I do it. Um, everyone has their own way of doing things, but I've been doing it this way for a lot of years. Uh, everyone loves it, I love it and always make enough to pretty much do lunch the next day and have the sauce, um, you know, put in a bowl, put in the freezer, say for next week. So before we get started, hey Google, play some cooking music. Okay, here's a Google Play music station called Too Easy Pop. Too Easy Pop? Hey Google. Cancel. Okay. Let's try that one again. Hey Google, play music to cook to. Sure, here are some songs. Thank you. Alright, I'll pull out what. Well, I'll put this back. <laughs> Just wait a minute, leave it around, why not? Hey, stickity moves. Stickity moves. Hire some help. Really um, yeah, okay, I'm going to change this music. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pull out the ingredients that I need. I'll show you what I'm using, and we'll get started. Thank you. Okay, guys, just showing you what I use and what I chop up to make my spaghetti sauce. Of course, we need 500, around 500 grams of uh, premium minced meat. I chop up mushrooms. I chop up red and green capskins, although if you're in the stage you would call it peppers. I just get um, minced garlic just out of a jar, will do. An onion, three tins of Heinz Big Red Tomato Soup. The cheese is for sprinkling on later and of course you get, you know, uh, your, your spaghetti, your pasta. But that's later on. I normally let all this simmer for about four hours. Okay, I just grabbed myself a chopping board here. Uh, I'm gonna have to move all this because I've got to pull out the fry pan. Okay, so that's the fry pan. That's for everything to go into. Before I throw everything in, uh, just um, throw some olive oil in there. Whoops. Okay, you'll notice what I'm going to do here is I will not, I won't brown the mince. I'll actually brown everything together. start to heat the pan up yet. I'm just going to dice up the onion. Here we go, the fun of it will probably start making me cry, let's hope not. Actually I did remember hearing just run them under water and it should prevent that from happening. So let's see if it works. Otherwise, it would be like I'm watching a soppy movie or something like that, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Nothing's taken effect yet. Okay, I always clean as I go, so... So I've got, uh, got my bin ready, clean as I go, that way there's no mess. And yeah, I'll just uh, dice up the onion. Still not crying yet, so obviously running that little bit under water, maybe it helped. It seems like I played, maybe it did. 
Okay, I've cocked up here. Normally I do this a bit better than this. Of course it screws up because I'm filming. What? Why, why, why wouldn't it? I'll watch this back and realise how long it actually takes me to do this. So you guys had an interesting week, interesting day? I have, I've had an interesting week at work. I think all things are, I'm having today off because a lot of things are getting changed at work. And there goes the bird. And as they say, the shit's about to hit the fan at work. It won't involve me, but I didn't want to be around for it. I'll wait till it's a bit calmer tomorrow. So that's when I'll go back to work. Good thing about my job, if I decide to just take a day off, no worries, I just do it. Oh yeah, mother. I'm not that fussed on how I cut it. It'll just basically just get diced. Get there in a minute. Okay. Now, notice I said that the fry pan's not even on yet, but I'll just put it in there. I'll explain why when we get there. Actually, I'll even the mince. I'll just throw the mince in. Okay, so green capsicum, red capsicum, or peppers, if that's what you guys, wherever you're from, whatever you call it. I'll just cut the ends off. Don't need those. Okay, just taking the middle bits out, all the pips and stuff. I feel like I should be having a glass of wine or something whilst doing this. Isn't that what they do on cooking shows? Okay, it's basically same thing here. Just dice her up. We've had incredibly hot weather here the last couple of weeks. Today's fantastic because it's down to 22 degrees outside. Last few days it's been between 35 and 44 degrees. Been incredibly hot. Yet I know over in America, they're going through one of the worst cold snaps they've ever had. Um, from what I've seen on the news, I would think maybe just a bit of hot weather is probably better than what they're going through over there. It looks pretty bad. But that's what's been going on weather-wise here. I want it to go back to normal though. No, I like it, especially when I have to work outside most of the days and it's too damn hot. Come on. Also, I washed my hands before I started doing this, in case you're wondering. Okay, so the green capsicum. She is sliced. Okay, same thing with the red. Oh, music wise, I just asked Google to play, um, I just asked to play a set of restaurant music. And this is what it came up with. Which is, you know, I guess appropriate for this. Same thing. Fly some dice. Actually, this is a bit backwards to what I normally do. Normally the green peppers or capsicum is bigger than the red, but in this pack, the red one was bigger. But I don't care, it's, it's all the same to me. I don't taste actually a big difference between red and green. Um, I just throw it in because it, uh, it adds different, you know, color to it. And it comes out a bit more chunkier. That's interesting music it's playing. Feels like it's out of some movie from the 1940s. Like trying to sneak around or something. We 
we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. See, I just cut it into strips like that and then just dice it. Wow, this is a lot. Oh, well, no matter. All goes down the same way. Is this exciting to watch? <laughs> if you're watching this guy, you must be bored. Anyway. And I just said I'll do a video because uh, I haven't done one in about a week, whatever. I'll eh, video do on this. Sometimes it could be interesting. You never know, I might cut a finger off my loose something, who knows? And that's entertainment. So, okay, so there's the red. Now with the mushrooms, it's pretty much already, you know, pre-cut up stuff. And I actually think it tastes different with mushrooms than without. I'll just grab a handful. I actually like, I actually really do like mushroom. I love it on pizza, in spaghetti. I really do like it. Right, same, basically the same thing. I'm just gonna slice this up. Well, but it's already cut, but I'm just going to cut it up a lot finer. How long have we been going for here? It's like about 10 minutes or something. Still got a bit of a ways to go. You won't see a final result of this because I actually won't do just put the spaghetti on and all that until tonight. Uh, the time now, it's only 12 in the afternoon. But the longer this thing sits and simmers, the better it is. So basically, I mean, you can eat it straight away after making this, but I find if it simmers for a few hours, it's just better. So in this case, it'll simmer for probably about five hours, actually. All I'm gonna do is leave this thing on low, and then just leave it all day, it'll be fine. All right, there's our hacked up mushroom. up a bit. I'll throw them in soon. Just take this up there and do a quick dry. garlic it does taste better if you use real garlic and chop it up but uh, I can't be bothered so I'll just put in one two okay, this can go straight into the dishwasher start the front head yet is because and I didn't brown anything yet it's because whilst this is browning I put one tin of this in the difference is here if I brown all that first and put this in it comes out more chunkier if I put one of these in then brown it as I go it comes out a lot more creamier and smooth smoother and I actually like it I like it both ways <laughs> but anyway um, this way I actually do prefer, where it's a lot a uh, lot more smoother. So, where are we? Hang on, this feels like a song I know. Right, so we touch of water just to get the rest of that out. 
Right in the bean. And basically these are all just meats as we go. I mean it looks, it looks terrible in there like this. Where are we? No, this is basically just how it looks when I, when I get started. And we're back. Okay. As you can see here, it is, well, I'm going to assume you can see, I don't know. Uh, it is starting to brown up. Now I've actually turned the heat up. Ooh, where are we? So I've got the controller down there, which adjusts the heat. I've only gone up to, what are we looking at? Uh, 120 degrees. I think this thing goes all the way up to, what are we? 260 degrees. That would just, that would just burn the hell out of it. So, I just keep turning. Like this. A bit crunky there. Come on, come on. There we go. And when I think that this has gone brown enough, that's when I go ahead and I add the other two um, tins of tomato soup in. So, any professional cook out there is going to look and think, why am I using tomato soup and all that? I'm not a professional cook. I cook at home. If you've seen my other videos, you guys know what I do for a job, so. This is my idea of cooking, and hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I love it. Besides, if a professional was to, we did, I did try, I did try this once, and I threw wine in and, and all that sort of stuff, made it more fancy, and you know what? It was bloody horrible. So I won't do that again. I didn't like it. I looked up the correct like Italian or whatever wine to put in something like this. Yeah, I didn't like it. So it's each to their own. Realistically, all right, we are getting there. It is browning up. I mean, pretty sure you can see it's browning up. There's a few bits in there that are a little bit too chunky, but it doesn't matter. As I said, it all goes down the same way, <laughs> it all comes out the same way. All right, that's just gross. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'll put in the other 10. She's getting there. Just get the bottom bit of water. The uh, rest of the tomato soup out. There. And after this, put in the final one. Heat it up a little bit, and then just let it go to simmer. And as I said, it'll sit for about five hours. Over the next one, and in she goes. It's hard to tell here, but it is um, a lot more creamier than or whatever the word is I used before. It's not as chunky. I actually prefer it like this rather than really, really chunky. We're starting to splatter, so I'll actually turn that. Come on, I'll turn it down a little. Also, what I'll do, if I can find it. Okay. Also, what I'll do is I'll put in a little bit of. Hang on, let's down. A bit of black pepper. All that does is give it just a little bit of a kick. Okay, so that's pretty much it on how I do this, uh, do my spaghetti sauce. Um, like later on, you know, just a packet of spaghetti and boiling water. Uh, that cheese, I, I just grate out the cheese. Grate some cheese over the top. That's about it. And as I said, this this will do tea for two people tonight. It'll do lunch for me tomorrow, and also do tea again uh, next week. So realistically, this amount of sauce here. <clears throat> um, if you're conservative with it, would we'll probably do say 10 people. 10 people nicely. Alright guys, I will catch you on the next video. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you want to give it a crack, give it a crack. You might like it, you may not. Um, yeah, catch you next time. Happy cooking!